<laughs> What's going on? It's Rems here again, uh, Mr. Adversity Man, and today is really special. Uh, today is July 15th of 2009, and it's actually my three year anniversary of my accident. So uh, I really wanted to, first of all, like celebrate this day because um, it's special to me. It's actually more special than my birthday now. And I want to give out a certain, I want to give out some thanks to everybody for um, helping me over the years and stuff. So what I did is, I, ironically, I don't know if it's just a coincidence, but today I woke up with a bunch of energy. So I'm uh, down here in Port Dalhousie on the beach, uh, kind of enjoying the morning. And uh, so I'm just going to go over a quick little bit here, uh, a couple people. I, I don't want to like forget anybody, but there's some people that really have stuck out in my life in the last few years. Um, first of all, a therapy team that I've worked with, uh, both at Lindhurst, where I did my rehab, and since I've left, have been um, just monumental in my recovery. Can't explain that, so huge thanks out to those guys. Uh, Benny, Mudman, Koval, Bodie, and Blair. You guys are all um, really close friends of mine and influenced me very much in certain ways. They're each of you a little different way, but... Um, You've all been there, kind of like to help me out when I needed it, and, and if, I don't know, it just, you guys really stuck out of my mind. David Iser, I don't know how I can even possibly express what you have done for me in my life. You've been like a second father to me, and all I can say is thank you, man. I don't know how else to say it, just thank you. Um, Rob King and McPherson. You guys have been uh, huge influences on my life too, and um, especially Rob too, for giving me a chance to like get back to uh, some tolerance for work and stuff. Um, that's been major, major in my life, in my recovery. So thanks a lot, man. And um, my mom, my grandma, and my sister. Uh, definitely the three biggest above anybody else in the world. Um, they're all, all of you for believing in me and supporting me going through uh, my dirt biking career, I guess you call it. And, because if I, I mean, achieving my dream was just indescribable, what that does for your life when you actually get that. And if it wasn't for you guys supporting me, I wouldn't have got that far, so thank you. And someone told me this uh, one day, and um, I never really understood it. Well, I understood it when, when they said it finally, but I actually gotta thank my dad too. Um, I mean, it's obvious that I should thank my dad, but he wasn't always there through my career, you call it. But um, the way my friend put it is that I got my dad gave me a gift, and um, although he's passed away, he's given me the opportunity to um, really share with the world what our lives have been like, and and that gift is to use his story with with mine. To really make a difference in people's lives and to help make he actually help it'll help make my life better with what he's been through and it's an unfortunate sad way to say it like that but it really is so and also just everybody else who supported me over the years who's like giving me positive feedback and comments um people who are donating right now to help out with the wheelchair relay uh everybody who's the guys and friends and family and all that who uh, bought my t-shirts while I was in rehab, supported at Underground FMX and just have continued to like I can't say how much that means to me so I'm sorry if I missed anybody like I want to I want to count everybody in but thank you very much for helping me over these years and I really hope that I can continue to provide some positive stuff back to this world and help you, help you out like you guys have helped me out, so thanks.